A space rock striking our planet is the stuff of sci-fi. A few films and books depend on the thought, profound effect, Armageddon, Lucifer's sledge, or attempting to stop one. Be that as it may, a space rock affecting Earth isn't simply the stuff of sci-fi, it's likewise the stuff of science reality. NASA's Stream Impetus Lab in California has an space rock watch, that is whole design is to distinguish and follow space rocks, and comets, the office thinks will come near Earth. There are no less than five on the Space Rock Watch dashboard for 2022, alone, including one that is believed to be around 2.5 times the level of New York City's Realm State Building. NASA marked this Space Rock 74821994 pc one and has had some significant awareness of it starting around 1994. Two of the five space rocks flew by Earth securely, 2021YQ and 2021YX, on January 5, 2022, at distances of 1.3 and 2.4 million miles, 2.1 and 3.7 million kilometers, individually. However, not all space rocks since the beginning of time have missed. There are clear cavities on the planet, and the moon, that demonstrate a long history of monstrous items stirring things up around town. The most well-known space rock at any point is the one that hit Earth a long time back. The mountain-sized space rock left a hole off the shore of Mexico's Yucatan landmass 93 miles, 146 kilometers, wide and 12 miles, 19 kilometers, profound. Researchers think it made gigantic tidal waves and tossed such a lot of water and residue into the air that it cut off daylight, brought down temperatures overall and caused the elimination of the dinosaurs. Imagine a scenario in which a space rock hit Earth today. Chances of a space rock hitting are little. NASA has followed 90% of the close Earth space rocks that are essentially a half mile, 0.8 kilometers, wide and accepts not a single one of them has a huge possibility hitting Earth. Still there could be a few greater space rocks out there that NASA has hardly any insight into. On the off chance that a vast space rock hit Earth, it would strike the planet's surface at around 30,000 miles each hour, 48,280 kilometers each hour. A space rock that enormous going at that speed has the energy generally equivalent to a 1 million megaton bomb. It's challenging to envision 1 million megaton, so we should attempt a few more modest sizes. Suppose that a space rock the size of a house hit Earth at 30,000 miles each hour. It would have a measure of energy generally equivalent to the bomb that fell on Hiroshima, maybe 20 kilotons. A space rock like this would level built up substantial structures up to a portion of a mile from where it hit, and smooth wooden designs maybe a mile and a half from ground zero. It would, as such, cause broad harm to any city. On the off chance that the space rock was essentially as large as a 20-story building, 200 feet, 61 meters, on a side, it could have how much energy equivalent to the biggest atomic bombs made today, around 25 to 50 megatons. This size space rock would smooth built up substantial structures 5 miles, 8 kilometers, from ground zero. It would totally obliterate most significant urban communities in the US. For a space rock to clear out most everything on the planet, it would need to be huge. Researchers gauge it would take a space rock around 7 to 8 miles, 11 to 12 kilometers, wide colliding with the Earth. When it had effect, it would make a huge residue tuft that would envelope the whole planet, shut out the sun and raise temperatures where the space rock had effect. Billions would kick the bucket, and quite a bit of life in the world would be obliterated. Be that as it may, researchers accept some would make due. NASA researchers say it would take a space rock 60 miles, 96 kilometer, wide to clear out life on Earth completely. The uplifting news is NASA's twofold space rock redirection test, DART, automated space apparatus sent off into space in November 2021. Its only mission is to bang into the little space rock dimorphos at 4.1 miles, 6.6 kilometers, each second trying to change the circle just marginally. The zero-chance dimorphos will at any point raise a ruckus around town. NASA is involving the space rock as a protected objective to test innovation it could need to use in the future to change the course of a stellar space rock on an immediate way toward Earth.